that I've missed so much. It's even great to be here with my friends. I don't miss at all. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Have you ever, have you ever rolled your eyes up into your head like this to see what you were thinking? <laughs> and then realize there wasn't much up there. Is it just me? People always ask me, they say, is that your naturally curly hair? I'm here to say, who would do this to their hair on purpose? <laughs> the good news is, no matter how miserable I go to bed at night, my hair wakes up happy. <laughs> good morning! It's 6 a.m., but my face needs a ton of coffee. I went to see uh, the dermatologist this week, and I asked her, what would it cost for me to smooth out my neck? Right, ladies? He said, she said $5,000. Then I went to the optometrist, and I asked him, what would it cost to fix my eyes? He said $5,000. I just saved $10,000. <laughs> By not fixing my eyes, I don't even see my neck. <laughs> okay, since we're all friends, sort of, <laughs> I, uh, I will admit that I have had a little plastic surgery. My friends think I've had too much since I used to be a tall black man. <laughs> I wish I was making that part up. <laughs> my kids, they don't worry about the way I look. They worry about my voice. They say my voice is irritating. I, somebody else does too. I said, when does my voice irritate you? They said, when you talk. My voice comes in handy. I can open up automatic garage doors. Dogs show up on my, on my porch. And when I get a sales call, I just start talking. They can't handle it. They just hang up. Oh my goodness, my sister says I shouldn't worry about the lines on my face. She says she has earned every line on her face. And I'm thinking to myself, I think you got ripped off. Because <laughs> mine came for free. So I have two sons that are, that are in college and they're at The Ohio State. Yes, I used to say Ohio State, but my oldest said it's called The Ohio State. The Ohio State. I said, if you don't quit bugging me, I'm not gonna send you the rent. <laughs> he says, if you don't send me the rent, I'm not gonna call the mom. Cause I miss them, I miss their voices. Just to pick up the phone and hear, mom, quit bugging me. Get your own life, please. Oh, music to my ears. A voice only a mother could love. My son says, we don't call anymore, they text. So I text him, how was your day? When are you coming home? How was your test? It took him three days to text me back, yes. <laughs> then he said to me he needed some cash. So I wait one day, two days, three days, and I text him back, call me. <laughs> My youngest is still in school. He is, uh, he's in his fifth year. He's a junior more. I said, what is the problem? He says, I don't know what I want to be, Mom. I said, how about be graduated? <laughs> because I don't care how long it takes, just as long as you get a sponsor, because this sponsor is broke. <laughs> I just love the kids so much. And, it's, and the, 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 the youngest says, it's not important that he graduates anymore. He says, Steve Jobs didn't graduate from college. And I said, well, just think if Steve Jobs would have graduated from college. Can you imagine how much bigger that company would have been? There wouldn't have been 12 iPhones. They would have got it right at one. <laughs> yes. And that logo would have been a whole Apple. But you know, Jeff Bezos, he graduated from college. And look at his company, it's thriving. Did you know he is flying to space this month? He is going to Mars, and Amazon Prime has guaranteed him a two-day delivery. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Before we let you go, I want you to tell folks about the Clean Comedy Challenge that you sponsor and put on. Because a lot of people don't know, there are a lot of people who work clean in comedy, wholesome family entertainment, but you do something that's pretty special with clean Well, comedians. about 12 years ago, when I was raising my children on the farm in Ohio, I missed all my friends because I had been a stand-up comic out in Los Angeles. And I, and I thought, how could I bring them back, and it was kind of a selfish reason, and I started doing clubs, and they were just so dirty, the comics. Yeah. And I thought if we didn't mentor young people and old people, whoever wanted to be a comic, if we didn't mentor them, how would they know that clean comedy is the way to go? Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So we started this about 12 years ago, and it's just grown and grown, and this year we'll be in Indianapolis next week at Gutty's Comedy Club, actually in the Greenwood Mall. And I'll have 35 competitors from all over the country. Fantastic. And I give away $1,000. I may come up there and try to tell a joke myself. <laughs> well, Leslie, great to have you. Keith, why don't you tell us how we can get more of Leslie's hilarious and clean comedy? Well, you can find more of Leslie's great comedy at her website and through her social media pages. And learn more about her Clean Comedy Challenge shows that's happening later this month at cleancomedychallenge.com.